Hi everybody, John Sheps here again <laughs> at uh, johnsheps.com with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here to talk to you today about some misconceptions about pricing your property. Uh, some of my clients that are current clients and future clients, when I get together with them, I give them a, a packet that explains a lot of misconceptions, a lot of do's and don'ts in, in selling your house. But what I'm, I'm going to be referring to today is just a couple of five just misconceptions that that people um, overlook when they price their house. Number one is over improvement. This is really popular and it's pretty common that um, people feel like that the improvements uh, that they've made, you know, they uh, it, for a pool example, pool might they may pay thirty thousand dollars for a pool. Unfortunately, you only get about fifty percent of that when you go to sell your house. Uh, you just have to understand that the improvements that you're making in your home are for your own enjoyment, not for resale. Unless it comes to, you know, granite countertops and certain uh, blinds and things, it does retain a lot of the value. The second thing is financial. Um, you know, your need to make money um, and increase the sales price does not always mean that that's what a buyer is going to pay. Unfortunately, a buyer doesn't really care what, what you owe. They want to get it for as low as they possibly can. So your financial need. Third, the original purchase price. Um, you know, chances are you paid, you know, fair market value for the house. You didn't pay too much or too little. Uh, but unfortunately, right now the market has experienced some some downturns, and uh, depending how long you've lived in the house, you may or may not get what you paid for it. So that is a very very popular misconception. The original purchase price. The, uh, the fourth thing is bargaining, bargaining room. Always, I always hear people say, well, let's start high. We can always come down low. Well, you've got to, it's a misconception. You've got to price the house that you're in striking range that you're going to generate an offer. You price yourself above the market. You won't even get, you won't even get showings. Um, and quite frankly, the game doesn't begin until you get that first offer. And that's where I, I really enjoy the process and negotiating. That's a whole other session. Uh, last and not least, um, uh, could we try to price the house, you know, at a certain price for um, a high price for a couple of weeks? We can always come down later. You're going to get the most activity in the house the first couple of weeks that it's listed. So I suggest that we list it at a at a price that um, is going to generate some offers. Thank you for joining me today. Once again, my name is John Sheps. And with Keller Williams Realty here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you know anybody that's thinking about buying or selling, please give me a call. Go to my website at johnsheps.com. Have a great day. Okay.